Tonight, a special edition of Bang Goes the Theory to help you improve your brain. And we make scientific history, putting brain training games to the test. Six months ago, we launched the world's biggest scientific experiment ever to find out if brain training games really can improve your brain. So, can you train your brain? Tonight is all about brain power. Now, thousands of you took part in our amazing brain training experiment, and tonight we're going to be giving you the results. We certainly are. Now, we've got a hundred of those brain trainers right here in our studio. Hello. Thanks for joining us. They look happy, and for them, the training isn't quite over because with their help, we'll be showing you how to release the untapped potential of your brain. OK, good stuff. Uh, but let's get down to business, big business, in fact, because brain training has become a billion-dollar industry. Computer games to improve your brain really are the latest craze. Chances are you'll know somebody who's bought one of these. In fact, the UK's most popular video game ever, believe it or not, is a brain training game. And over three million of us have bought this one. Now, games like these make some pretty impressive claims. Playing games can make you smarter, improve your memory, and even improve your general brain power. But here's the rub. When you actually look for hard evidence of these claims, by that I mean proper trials published in scientific journals, the evidence for people like you and me is pretty thin. So we decided to take matters into our own hands. Now, six months ago, right here on Bang, we launched an experiment to find out if brain training games really do improve our overall mental abilities. Over 13,000 of you logged on to the Lab UK website to play our brain training games, making it the world's biggest brain training experiment ever. And then we tested to see if the games had any effect on your brain's performance. Now, we teamed up with some of the country's leading academics, researchers from the Alzheimer's Society and from the Medical Research Council. And together, we devised a scientifically rigorous experiment to answer the big question. Does brain training actually work? Can playing a set of games make your brain better at doing other things? Now, the idea of getting more out of our brain is obviously appealing, but how much is it really possible for us to change the way our brain works? And that's what our experiment was trying to find out. Can exercising your brain with brain training actually make it better? Now, there's a huge number of brain training games out there that say they can improve your memory or increase your brain power. Well, we wanted to test that, so we devised our own games and got thousands of you to play them online. And we devised our games with the help of Dr. Adrian Owen from the Medical Research Council. Great to see you again. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. First question is, how do our games compare with the video games on the market? Are they representative of the kind of games most people play? They are. We had, we had two priorities with this experiment. The first was to try and include as many games as we could that are currently used in commercially available brain trainers. Good stuff. The second thing was to try and give the whole brain a complete cognitive workout. Like in the sound of that. We devised a whole load of games involving skills like problem solving that exercise the frontal lobes, memory that stretch the temporal lobes, and maths that use the parietal lobes. And to be sure it was the games that made a difference and not simply using a computer, we also included a control group. In our experiment, the control group were encouraged to use the internet for the same amount of time every week, but they didn't have any formal brain training, so we can rule that out as a confound. Excellent, and that's when we asked you for your help. We asked all of you at home from 18 to 100 to log on to our website and play the games every other day for six weeks. Thousands of you across the nation stretched your brains for six weeks. Now is the time for the first lot of results. Did it have any effect? But let's see what the results say for all 13,000 of you who took part. Now, the first thing we looked at was whether you got any better at playing the games themselves. We looked at your average scores across all games when you started off. Take a look at this. It's a beautiful thing. That's where you started off before the six weeks. After the six weeks of regular playing, here is where you got to. Take a look. Let's see how good you got at just the games themselves. Ooh. 
surgeons are happy. That's a whopping improvement of 33%, not too shabby. Not surprisingly, playing brain training games makes you better at brain training games. But how useful is this? The only way to find out if brain training improves your overall performance is to test your general cognitive abilities before and after brain training. So that's what our scientists did. In terms of what you've been doing, how have you found out whether or not these games are making us smarter? Well, we looked at many different cognitive functions. Mm. So, for example, we looked at problem solving. Uh, does problem solving improve after you've been brain training for six right. weeks? We also looked at whether people can remember longer sequences of, of digits, because that's obviously something that you right. have to do every day when you're remembering a telephone number. And also, those are everyday things, things like memory, things like logic. These are very, very everyday things that we use. Exactly. They're, they're core cognitive functions that we use in everyday life. So we tested everybody's memory and problem solving before and after brain training. Would six weeks of brain training make any difference to their everyday mental ability? OK, it's time for the moment of truth. Now, we already know brain training games make you better at those games, but do they improve your brain power, like some of the commercial games imply? Thank you to all of you in our studio and at home who took part. We could not have done this without you. First up, let's look at the control group that did no brain training at all, but they did spend time on the computer searching the internet. Now, our scoreboard represents roughly the range of scores for all our participants. Let's look at their mental ability at the beginning of the six weeks. This is how they scored on our tests of memory and problem solving. There it goes. Excellent. So that's the score they got before the six weeks. Average score of 4.6. And this is how the control group did after the six weeks. Now, in theory, there shouldn't be much difference. There we go. There we go. Ooh, right. Our test gave them a score of 4.8. So. Not much of a change there. Remember, that's the result of our control group. So, so far, so good. But now for the interesting bit. Does brain training have any effect on your overall mental abilities? Brain trainers, let's see how you did before brain training, shall we? There it goes. Our tests of memory and problem solving gave you an average score of 4.6. Exactly the same as our control group. But how did you score afterwards? Did brain training make any difference? Six weeks, remember, of brain training, thousands of you across the nation. Did you do any better than our control group? Are you ready to find out? Yeah. Let's find out. Ooh. Where's it gonna stop? <gasps> That's almost the same as our control group. Can you believe it? Our test gave you, our brain trainers, an average score of 4.9. Are you shocked and horrified? How are you feeling about this? Yes. Adrian, can I ask you to join me? I am frankly quite surprised by the results. OK, so we've got 4.8 from our control group, 4.9 from our brain trainers. So it's 0.1 of a difference. Does that mean anything? Well, unfortunately, when we do the direct comparison between the brain trainers and the controls, yeah. the difference is statistically completely meaningless. There is no, there is no oh, difference between them. OK, but what about the difference between the brain trainers pre and the brain trainers post training? So you've got 4.6 to 4.9. Does, does that mean anything? I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you again, Liz. Um, that difference is so small, again, it's statistically not meaningful. Can we actually say that brain training games don't work? The result is crystal clear. Brain training is only as good as spending six weeks using the internet. There was no meaningful difference between the two groups. Pretty surprising stuff, I'm sure you'll agree. Adrian, thank you so much for joining us and thanks for all your help with this. For full details of the results and to find out why we want people 60 and over to keep training, go to bbc.co.uk slash laburk. Our brains are amazing and understanding how they work can help each of us to realise our full potential.